Another priest. Hey, tiny little one. What's up? Banner around the play is a bit sketchier if it's aggro, but I already have a soldier. It's probably okay. It's probably not great, though. So I'm a little cough-y. Yeah, it looks like a lot of people are trying out uh, Shadow Priest right now. Well, we have the curve. We do have the curve. Class Action Lawyer seems quite good for tempo. Even the Light Ray is nice. It'll come later. Turn four, this lets us go class action lawyer for Kelthalos. We push some damage face, maybe, and then our we face tank the minion. Okay, and we're gonna do exactly that. And these do have to die. Because otherwise, I'm gonna take damage. So how many how many paladin cards have I played? I played soldier on one. I played savior on two. Bannerman on three. Lawyer plus Kelth loss here. That's four five. This is six. So light ray costs three mana after I play this. So I can play light ray in both of these two, and the thing at the same turn. So let's do that. Now they could trade and play Shadow Word on death, which sucks, but that still leaves us ahead on board. And then we just buff this guy up, play another Light Ray. And that means we're going to have Countess on turn 7. Which seems pretty good, if you ask me. Does seem pretty good. As long as one of my minions survives, we win. And I'm pretty sure one of them will survive. Got the deck tracker in right in time. It is finished. You win. Been winning a lot with this deck. It's quite nice. Another double bannerman hand with a one drop. I don't mind if I do. Now, do we keep Vindicator? 1.33. And hopefully we draw one drop that we can pair together with this? I don't mind it. We don't have a lot of four mana plays in our deck anyways. It's basically just carry all. So the expectation of getting a one drop with this is probably good. And it gives us a bit of flexibility if we go one coin three and decide we need uh, an option from Vindicator, like a four health loss or a, a seal of blood from our deck. A red sun it's a very nice curve. Looks like we're playing this on turn five maybe. Unless we have an incentive to play it earlier. There's that one drop we were talking about up with a potential turn four. Ooh. So this means we actually play Purator on five. Order in the Court on six. Purator will draw both Light Rays, which means Order in the Court on turn six will draw the Countess that we can play on seven. We have quite a good hand here. Hey, we could good. It was gone. I like how this lines up. I could even just ignore and go face, but I don't think I do. I think this is very reasonable to pick. I could deviate here. If I play Order in the Court, the Purator gets a bit worse. I have to have a pretty good reason to play Seeple or Savior this turn. Otherwise, I'm going through one. How do I make it on the Diablo? I finished the journey. I blasted a little bit through work. Um, it was good. I, I really enjoyed it. Nah, this looks like a 3-1 play. So let's... Do I do this first? I, I I already have the order in the court, so I want to draw a holy spell from this, which means I don't want to draw a holy spell first. I want to do this to draw a holy spell so that I can... Okay. That's unfortunate. That probably does have to die. If it was for a Kelpha loss, I could just send this damage face, but that's probably worth killing. Maybe not, though. 
It actually might not be worth killing. What if we just ship this face? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so turn five, we play Purator. Turn six, we go order in the court, Light Ray, Light Ray. Set up a nice big tempo turn, which gets us Countess on seven. And then we uh, we check out some invitations on turn eight. You run Conquest off of the season journey, complete yourself. Nice. Um, the Conquests always feel like uh, kind of chory for me. But uh, they weren't they weren't that bad this time around. I think part of it was when I initially started playing Diablo and stuff like that, when they introduced the, the achievements or, or the conquests. I was like, oh god, these are kind of hard. But I think now it's it's a bit easier, especially with what we have in the uh, in the season. I mean, it's just the season does feel a lot more turboy. Is this lethal? Eight plus ten. It's close, but I don't think I do it. We'll do this. I think killing this is reasonable, and I think pushing five face is reasonable. <laughs> All right, Ord on the court. Play some light rays. I think this is probably a frost type deck, so I'm not expecting to see hard, like big, big removal cards, which means I don't mind overextending with as much as I can. Maybe I'll come back and do it this week, but we'll see. I, I enjoyed myself in any case, so it was, it was good. The level gem ones is kind of free. So I wanted to go for the uh, the order on the court play, but we just killed them. We have eight showing. Oh, math is hard. No, no, it's still it's still math is still not that hard. Each four health loss is five damage. I have five here plus five plus five, which does equal fifteen. Nice. Cool. Solid. 